want to vlog the whole experience. Okay, so I wasn't planning on vlogging, so um, we um, didn't vlog shopping, but. So we need to decide photo shoot, casual indoor photo shoot, just lounging around the house, what we're gonna wear. Okay. So we're gonna put a couple ideas together. Okay. Um, let's look at our pants options. Okay. So. Oh, these are gonna be perfect. Yeah, Did those. Did a rip right at the butt, Missy? Yeah. So, we have a dark wash denim. Ooh, love those. Are those from Urban? Those are Paige from my birthday. Okay. Oh, yeah, those are super cute. So, dark wash. Those are Urban, right? Light wash, yeah. I think we bought those together. Uh, light wash ripped up. Mm-hmm, polka dot. And then, yes, these three. Then we have... Uh, By the way, if you're wondering, we just went to Target. Polka dot, kind of dressy. Love pants. those the most. They might not make sense in the photo shoot, but great for everyday wear. And then these green, green versions ones for like new, um, like earth tones. Mm -hmm. And then just the these flowy ones because I can kind of like bend my knee in flowy pants. Okay. Oh, let me grab that shirt. Okay. Yes. That work. Definite possibility. Yeah. To choose. What are our top faves? I think I, our top faves are ripped up jeans mm -hmm. with sweater. Any of these will look good with the ripped up jeans. Or even this. Is really cute. Mom said that she's just going to stay at the house. And we have Wi Fi at the new house. So she's just going to stay at the new house. Ripped jeans. Mm -hmm. So with this shirt. Sure. Kika. This one right here. Kika, do you have a help us? Yeah, just get fur right on top of it. Hey, little cutie, cutie, cutie. This is really annoying. How much we love each other. I know how much she loves you. Okay, so I actually haven't formally introduced this vlog. <laughs> Hi. Um, this vlog is going to be about a photo shoot that Allison is having. She's in the bathroom. We'll do time lapse of her getting ready once I'm done with this haul. It's going to be a haul, and it's going to be exhilarating because it's vlogged over, so get excited. So, we just went to Target, as you guys saw, to get Allie some stuff, and then I ended up going broke. So, yay. And then we also have a couple of other packages, and one is from my kitty cat. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share all of this with you. Cute. Okay, so I think these are probably the kitty cat things. So I ordered these from Amazon. The nail clippers, which my sister currently won't let me do until we talk to the vet about it. Even though the Humane Association told us to do it. Oh, I need to do she might sit in the bathroom. I don't know. She's sometimes she'll sit in the bathroom. She's over there. Oh, she went downstairs. Okay, then rude. <gasps> Whoops. Okay, this is a mess. These performance chairs that the Amazon bags have never work unless you cut them. Okay, so these are the nail clippers. Ooh, way prettier color in real life. So they're just cat nail clippers for her nails because she has been um, uh, scratching out furniture like a lot and so my older sister Sarah she has a cat too and she said to clip the nails so then I ordered these and then like we told Faith that we were gonna do this and then she's just like no you cannot touch my cat and she started swearing and mm -hmm. so um, yeah we're gonna have to see but we are we are totally against declawing at least our cat I mean like you do you boo but we just don't want to do that to her so we figured this would be an easier option but we need to apparently consult our vet first because Faith's pissy about it and then I ordered a butt okay so this is Paris um through a fashion eye by Megan Hess Heiss I think that the book is about um fashion throughout the years in Paris I believe that's what the book is about so I wanted to read it, but look at how pretty the book is just in general. So pretty. And it has like rose gold. So I didn't even see. Like I didn't think that it was going to be this pretty. Um, I just thought it was going to be a hardcover book. But like look at that. 
I see you, Megan. Hess, Heiss, I don't know. But I'm like, I'm like not much of a reader unless I really want to read the book. And I've just like haven't been really into a book lately. Yeah, I think like there's so, it's, I think, is this an illustrated book? Yeah, I guess so. It's an illustrated book. But on every page there's, um... Reasons why like this uh, particular thing was popular and everything like when it was popular and oh There's different brands that originated in Paris, too. Oh my god. This is so exciting. Oh My god, I'm so excited to read this. Okay. Yes, this is beautiful and amazing and it wasn't super expensive It was $16 Which is how a nice hardcore hardcovered book is but like this one's like really nice like it has rose gold detailing all over it So yeah, that's what I'd say that was a good price mm -hmm. Now, this is exciting. This is so exciting. So I have wanted Over the Knee Boots for forever, and I think, ooh. Um, if you guys, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but probably in my, like, outfit of the day, I did mention it, where I got, like, those faux Stuart Weitzman boots from Play-Doh's Closet, and I love my black Over the Knee Boots. But there's some dresses that are just too, like, springy and summery to wear the black Over the Knee Boots with, because they are a very winter pair of shoes. So I went on to Just Fab. And, like, the first pair of shoes that you got was under $9.99, and I was like, <gasps> and shipping was only $4.99. So, I got a pair of Camel. This is a really cute box, also. I'm probably going to keep this. Oh, also, this is not sponsored. But I got this Camel pair of over-the-knee boots. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. The only um, complaint was that they don't completely stay up. But that was only some of the complaints, and then the other complaints were just like, oh my god, these are the, or not complaints, but the other reviews were just like, oh my god, these are the only ones that will stay up on my legs. So, I'm not sure, but they look super cute. I don't like huge heels because I am a very tall person, so when I, like, I'm just tall no matter what. So these were a nice heel, and oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'll try these on for you once I get changed, but these are so cute. I really hope they work because I think overall I paid just under $14 for a pair of nice over the knee boots and these were originally $50. So that's a really good deal. These are so cute! Okay. I really hope they look good. And then from Target today, I bought two things. So this is actually on sale and I've seen this multiple times and every time I look at it, I'm just like, oh my god, I hate it. It's ugly. But today I just decided to try it on and it's absolutely adorable. So it's from the brand Wild Fable, which is like the new, or it's not very new, but it's like semi-new. It's newer than other clothing brands to Target. And this is a medium, and I'm never medium in clothes, but in all the Wild Fable clothes, every single Wild Fable clothing piece, I am a medium. So, I don't know. But in like Anna and everything, I'm not, yeah, I don't know. But it's this um, like cropped flannel, and it's purple, and uh gray and black and it's just so cute love it i'm gonna wear this today so i'll show you that and then the thing that i'm most excited for is this jacket and this jacket made me broke it's not that expensive but you know i'm a 14 year old without a job so this jacket was 35 dollars and it is so cute so it's a red patent faux leather jacket there was red and there was um black but I just love the red, and this is a medium, so I would go a size up because this is the perfect size for me, and it is so cute, and I think Allie and I both agree that this color looks really good on me. Would you say so, Allison? The red, right? Yeah. Yes. So, I, I love it so much. Okay, so this is the outfit. It is so cute. This is the top. It was $9, so it was really cheap, and then these are the boots, which I absolutely love. I can see why people say that they wouldn't stay up. They stay up with my jeans. I mean, they slightly go down, but they stay up with my jeans. But I can see how they wouldn't stay up um, bare-legged. Bare-legged. So maybe if I wear, like, over-the-knee socks with it, it'll stay up. But, yeah, I love these shoes. Love this outfit. So, yeah, I'm going to put on some makeup and clean this mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs>